Hey, Brian Tyree, how you doing, bro? I'm well, man. How are you? My first question is like, what what is it about North Car- Kakilaki, North Carolina, that I mean, we got Aldis and uh, Aldis and Edwin Hodge and Bettina Miller, Pam Greer, Zach Alfredakis, all and, and you, of course, that's bringing all these great actors out. <laughs> out the water i mean you go a little bit south you had the late great chad bozeman in south carolina but All right what is that what what i mean how 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 are you guys identifying and finding opportunities in hollywood from a city that's not necessarily known for hollywood you know man one i think there's something in the water uh that's one and then two i think i don't know when you come from a place that really let you be who you are, you know what I'm saying? When you come from a place where you have a sense of connection, it it's not hard to go out and like just be yourself and just try to find those other people that reflect you back to you, you know what I mean? Like there there's a thing about being from the south where it's like there's just an authenticity that you can't fake, right? Like you, like the south will smell you out. <laughs> like we'll know if you're from there and if you're not and it's always a part of you. Uh, but what also happens in the South is that you can always get trapped into only knowing people from the South. You want to branch out. You want to see other things. There's a sense of exploration that happens, a sense of migration that happens. And I think that that's a testimony to why we're able to do what we want to do, you know, like where there's a sense of um, identity, you know what I mean? There's a sense of uh, of longing for something else as well. So, you know, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I love the connection. I love the connection. I, I I just, you know, I never thought of it that way. I never really thought about that. But yeah, man, I mean, there's a sense of groundedness when you're from the <laughs> South. You kind of got to know who you are and you kind of got to be okay in your skin. You got to you gotta really be able to to, to be all right with, with being you. Got you a nice truck. Yeah, not anymore. How long have you been doing this? Just now, I, I don't know. It's not mine. When was the last time you changed the oil in it? I don't know. All right. Sorry. Hey, Santiago. Uh, you can wait inside. You got in there. Yeah. So, uh, probably just a carburetor. Now, if it is, I can just get that part on eBay. It ain't that hard to find. It may take a while to get here. But hurry. I don't know how long I'll be here. How much is it going to cost? Maybe about a uh, 350 phone plus labor. Maybe more if we get in there and find it needs some more work. I don't know if I want to fix it. It's not It's not even mine. It's... I don't know now that. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a nice truck. Okay, how about you just um, leave it here with us? And when I get the part, I'll call you for an estimate, yeah? I don't know my number. I mean, it's just business. No, I, I really don't know my number. And and I don't want this to be taken the wrong way, but, I, but uh -oh. you as an actor, you feel like, you feel more like kinship like anybody's cousin instead of like more <laughs> glossy like i feel like 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 black people at least look at you and relate to you like oh i know somebody that's that's this guy that's um, that's the best compliment i've ever gotten in my life man i have to i have to be honest with you that's why i do it you know that's that's literally why i do it i i grew up i was raised by the television i'm not gonna lie uh, you know, I'm an 80s baby, 90s kid, and uh, I was raised by the television, and I never really got to see anybody that felt like family, you know? I mean, like, with the exception of, like, you know, a different world and, like, you know, the emergence of black cinema in the <laughs> 90s and whatnot, uh, I never really felt like there was somebody that was talking to me. Uh, and so, in that sense, when any time that I take a part, that's I, kind of what I want people to feel when they leave away. Um, that they feel like I'm talking to them or they feel like it's not muscle. They feel like it's somebody that they truly relate to because I know these people, you know, that was a big part of why I love playing Alfred because I was like, well, 
you know, I used to roll up to the drive through a cookout with Alfred. You know what I mean? Like I know, I know he's everybody. He's somebody's cousin. He's somebody's best friend. He's somebody's brother. We all know him. Uh, yeah. And so I just always come from a place of wanting to portray these men as people that we know. And if you don't know them, you want you should want to know them after you see them. So that's that's a great that compliment means a lot, man. You have no idea how much that just like knocked me out. I appreciate that. Speaking of speaking of Alfred, I mean, even with this script, I, I wonder like. What's your process of deciding on what projects to take? Because I mean, you've you've done a lot of great projects. I mean, Bill Street, and of course, the thing in Atlanta. But when you read the scripts, like when you read Snipe Pun or when you re read Causeway, where in where in the script do you like really bite into it? Do you have to get all the way through the story? No, I don't. I I, I rarely get through them all the way. There's something that that kind of speaks to me, and I know it's gonna sound kind of like hokey but you know you can feel it you can absolutely feel it because i think uh, for the for the long game i'm like is this somebody that i'm going to be able to like lay down with at night and be okay is this somebody that i'm going to be able to look in the mirror and not really hate this mug you know what i mean like am i going to truly be able to feel something for this person and um you can usually tell that within the first five pages honestly you can usually tell before you even get to the second act if it's somebody that you really care about because it, in essence it's really hard for me to play anything that I don't care about um, and and I know what the other side of that looks like I know what it's like to do it for the money and to do it for you know, the right. I, I, I've known that and know that it doesn't it never it never helps me grow and makes me feel good about the choice I made so I'm just I, I've made a personal decision to let them talk to me to let the character tell me if it's something that um, and I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Like you can truly tell, you can truly tell um, if you're if you're in tune enough. If this character is something that really speaks to you, and every man that I've played so far has definitely said something to me. So, yeah, that was a big thing of why I took Causeway because James was unlike somebody I had seen before. Uh, there was uh, he was he there was something to him, man. I really wanted him to be cared for. Because within the pages, that's kind of what was coming through is that he was yearning for a connection from somebody. And they also, I love where they're from, right? Like, that's my favorite thing is like, well, where did, where, what is the land that created them? Where did they start? What's the connection to it? Who are they? Are they the representatives of this place? Were they born and raised there? Did they leave? Did they do like, and because uh, in essence, they have to reflect me at the same time, you know? And so... There's an exposure that happens, but I'm not afraid of it. I really, I really want it to feel like people feel like they are literally watching somebody that they know from around the block. Well, I want you to know, like when you are on screen, I'm rooting for you. Like people are rooting for Kevin Durant or Kyrie. Or LeBron. <laughs> I'm always rooting for you on screen, man, because I, I feel, I feel the connection and um uh, and, and and Causeway is great, but that snipe punt was something I, was <laughs> I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Keep on doing your thing, bro. I'll keep on cheering. All right, man. Take care.